blockchain, blockchain. We talking about an intellectual choo choo train. It's the LT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. <laughs> going on blockchain monkeys eagle here and i'd like to thank you for coming to my jungle now first of all i am no financial advisor whatsoever nor am i a professional in blockchain technology but there is one thing that I absolutely will do and that's give you my opinion so today we are going to talk a little bit about deloitte and their connections to big chain and xrp and ripple and what is going on with them but who do we have here right on twitter in the paint underneath the squat rack bar when i tell you you have a gorilla ceo when i tell you there's gorillas in this jungle sunny lou because there's gorillas in this jungle sunny lou sunny lou out going hard in the paint right here oh m g let's go Ah, let's go, Sunny! Get him off you! Now, you, when you're talking about V-Chain, you can't help but get excited when you see your CEO go like this. He, if you ain't excited for V-Chain, just off the fact of Sunny Lou doing these squats, you need to get out of crypto. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have a document here from Deloitte. I wanted to go over this executive summary so you guys can get a little taste of what's happening here. We have post-trade market infrastructures enabled and enablers of digital transformation. The financial market infrastructures are today facing an unprecedented transformation of its landscape. After 10 years of integrated different regulatory requirements, the financial market stakeholders are at a pivotal point of the transformation where they must combine on one side the transparency and risk management requirements which apply to them on the other side uh, the efficiency of the processes but the transformation of the fmis is not only a consequence of new global regulatory framework the introduction of new financial technology within this industry is facilitating more than ever the emergence of innovative solutions, but also reshaping the role, services, and operating models of different market players across the value chain. Now, are they not putting this stuff right in our face for us to see? So when the time comes, they will easily be able to say, we laid it all right out there for you. You've guys seen the progressions happen and you've seen where the, the direction that we were actually going. Like that is something that they will definitely be able to say. And how lucky are you to be able to be here and recognize it? Oh, M G. Not far from each and every new solution, we have seen a significant hype regarding blockchain DLT, distributed ledger technology, RPA, AI, security tokens, and digital currency solutions. Why initially identified as disruptors of the legacy FMI framework, you better believe it's dismantling that thing. A better understanding of these new solutions has evidenced how these new technology can actually enable a digital transformation of the market infrastructure industry right in our face. Check this out, though. Shout out to Solomon for, for bringing this to my attention because you know what? It really rose another eyebrow. Like Rome, we believe this new infrastructure will not be built in a day, not least because legal and regulatory considerations need to be addressed by the uh, competent authorities to recognize and frame these technologies. That's what do you think they're doing right now? They're getting it together right now while they're filling their bags, okay? Nevertheless, nevertheless it is now evident that the future landscape will enable new solutions around digital assets and custody generating incremental revenues in parallel to implementing processes, process efficiencies, cost reduction, and improvement of customer experience. The post to 2.0 ecosystem is no longer a question of imagination, but it is currently under construction. Being part of it and engaging in FinTech and DLT is a must for the key stakeholders of the securities and asset management value chain. You better Believe it, but, but why am I so excited about Deloitte? Because they happen to have a partnership with VeChain. 
as we march. Well, who is the who's Deloitte? Who's Deloitte for those that are um, you know new in the space? For those who already know, maybe you might need a reminder because it's real thick. Deloitte is a leading global provider of audit and insurance consulting, financial advisory, risk advisory, tax, and related services. With more than 150 years of hard work and commitment to making a real difference, our organization has grown in scale and diversity, approximately 286,000 people in 150 countries and territories. What do you need to know about Deloitte? Besides the fact that they're beasts in the game, okay? Providing these services, yet our shared culture remains the same. Our organization serves four out of five Fortune Global 500 companies. Come on, Deloitte. But what does it have to do with VJ? What does that have to do with, the, with VeChain? You know what I mean? V, this is Deloitte. VeChain is safer and more scalable than Ethereum. The audit firm Deloitte has published a report on the advantages of VeChain compared to Ethereum. Deloitte rates VeChain as a safer and more scalable blockchain, but Ethereum as a better platform for the financial industry. This is coming from Deloitte. Quick soundbite, okay? For Deloitte, VeChain is, is the platform that has more scalability and security than Ethereum, but less decentralization. Deloitte refers to three features, security, scalability, decentralization, uh, decentralization as the blockchain trilemma. And in that sense, VeChain reaches a better balance, making it a better platform for its users. As Deloitte states, these three characteristics is thus a major consideration for any blockchain network provider, as well as for the customers who choose to build the solutions on the network. And you ask why I love VeChain so much, but we not done. There's another cryptocurrency out there that, that um, you know, Deloitte has a little bit of a relationship with. And I think it's, it's, it's time to bring this to light for people that, that don't know, or people who maybe have skipped their memory with everything going on right now. I understand there's a pandemic going on right now, but I also understand that there's a whole lot of things going on in the background of the blockchain space while there's a pandemic going on. So I'm going to take a look. All right. Where is this article at? Because this hits home. Okay. This is Friday, May, tw uh, May 20th, 2016 for that ass. The Lord showcases integration of Ripple technology into Temenos T24 allowing real-time international payments. Oh yeah, new payment technology is transforming financial systems by allowing direct bank-to-bank -bank settlements in real time, even for international transfers. This week, Deloitte presented a pioneer project at the Temenos Community Forum 2016 in Barcelona. Full integration with the Ripple protocol and the Temenos core banking software using the Blue Cell Altitude Gateway technology. Are you feeling it? Are you smelling it? You are in the right place at the right time. OMG, there is an enormous uh, potential for banks to leverage disruptive technologies to make their existing payment processes faster, cheaper, and more secure. Innovative financial institutions are aware of this and are looking for ways to integrate their core systems with disruptive technologies, such as distributed ledgers on, or blockchain. Now, this is 2016 when these banks are getting these messages, okay? Now they're finally starting to drag their feet and finally get on, getting on board because you know what? They don't got no other chance but to get on the blockchain. We know that because we're blockchain monkeys, okay? Deloitte is looking to combine core banking system with FinTech to open the door for brand new opportunities and brings the right players together to show the immense possibilities in the area. Deloitte worked on this pioneer integration project with Buzel, a licensed software company based in Canada and Singapore, which builds blockchain and distributed ledger solutions for the financial industry. Man, oh man, oh man. Can you taste it yet? Can you taste it yet? But, uh, FinTech disruption at work. Temenos developed software for the financial industry while Ripple technology is an open source system based on internet protocols permitting domestic and international payments in, a combina in any combination of currencies to be settled directly between the parties without the need for central clearinghouses or correspondent banks. Do I need to say more? Don't forget that like. Come in and subscribe. And we will all see each other on the moon.